Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you my custom Lego The Batman Batmobile. Now, this Batmobile specifically is based off of the new movie The Batman, which will be coming out in 2021. And I was really excited for the movie when the second trailer came out in DC Fandom 2021. And I've been working on uh, a Batmobile mock now. Uh, the reason this is coming out like a month after DC Fandom or so is because after I made this mock, I started working on another mock and I forgot to record this video. So here we are now. And yeah, so if you ever seen one of my older videos, which came out, I believe six or seven months ago, I made a Batmobile mock collection. And one of the vehicles that I showcased was the Batman vehicle. Now, the problem with that was that I made it six wide, which would be more minifigure scale, I guess. Maybe seven wide would be more accurate. However, it was real. There was a lack of detail. It was really blocky, and I just was not proud of the outcome of the build. And I thought I definitely could redo it. And I wanted to remake it, but I just never got the like. I never really wanted to start working on it. But when the Batman trailer came out, I got really hyped for it, and I just went on and made this video or made this build so let me show you all the details and then once i'm done with showing the details i'll compare it to some of the other mocks that i've made i have made so let's go before i begin i do have a small little batman figure it's the same exact one from the video that i made of my batmobile collection it's just i thought i'd showcase it and yeah but with the build itself now it's an eight wide build rather than the six wide build. And I specifically chose eight wide because I thought it would look a lot cooler, especially with the indent and this windshield piece. I think it would be a lot more accurate looking specifically. And when it's eight wide, there's just a lot more space for detail. Uh, it's a lot smaller than the new 2021 The Batman Lego set, which I hopefully will be getting so I can compare these two sets or with this mock and the set. So let me know if you'd like to see that. Starting off at the front, I have these two headlights over here. Now they should be square, but I can't seem to find any square pieces. So I just went with circle. It's not too big of an issue. I think circle's fine. It's just, it's, that's one thing I wanted to point out. You've got this, uh, I guess it would be grill and it looks pretty cool. And at the bottom you've got this, uh, I believe front uh, fender and you can and you got these two um, uh, like pieces or support beams at the front they don't really do anything in the actual vehicle they keep the front uh, together when it rams into thing but as a Lego build it has absolutely no function at all now the wheels are just basic tire treads uh, or tire wheels with grips on them I want to go with a nice flat texture, but I can't seem to find any flat textured wheels, so I just went with uh, th this sort of curvy or like um, more construction style wheel, like a off-road wheel. And I guess it could be a little accurate since it's doing a lot of jumps and stuff, but yeah. Then we got the front up here, so it's got these two pieces over here. I really like how this front came out, I think it looks really nice. And if you look inside, there's actually some blue pieces underneath this 2x2 two two tile to show the flames over there. Didn't want to put like actual flames because that would like make the car look a little weird. So I just have like blue details in there. Then over here we got a seat. It doesn't really fit a minifigure or do anything special at all. It's just like, so it, if you look inside like, hey, there's a seat, but that's about it. On the side, you sort of have an indent over here. It's the same on the other side. Nothing too special, um, but I thought it was pretty cool. And on the back, you've got this part that curves like that. And you got these uh, angles on those sides. And they kind of look like bat ears. Uh, I don't know why, but I guess that's something that the designers intentionally put when they were creating the design of the car. Now for the back engine, this by far is my favorite part. It uses a lot of really cool pieces, specifically these two uh, pistol pieces right here. And it also has these cylinder pieces and this really cool looking exhaust. 
You can put a flame there, um, but it's a little fidgety since the connection pieces are kind of weak, but yeah. And overall, I think this is really cool. There's a little beam down here for extra support. And you got these two lights over here, which look really nice. And there's this extra flat back here. Don't know why I put it. I just thought it looks cool when you have it at an angle or like on the side angle like that. But that's all for the actual build itself. Now I thought I'd compare it to some of the other builds that I have here with me. I don't have all of the vehicles that I made for the uh, Batmobile mock collection. However, I do have some of them and a few extra ones that I d uh, made. So the first one here is the Arkham Knight Batmobile or Arkham Asylum Batmobile. And you can see that they're pretty much same size. They're both eight wide. They both go to roughly the same distance in the back. And overall, they're just really similar looking vehicles. Now, another vehicle that I want to show is the Tumbler. Now, the Tumbler seems to have a lot of inspiration on this vehicle, specifically like the plating and things like that. I just thought the, like, the very uh, heavy looking design, especially right over here, reminded me a lot of the Tumbler. I don't know why, just something that seemed to really seem tumbler to me, even though it's probably closer to something like uh, the Adam West style Batmobile or something like that. I don't know. I also have another Batmobile over here. You can see they're pretty similar uh, in terms of uh, scale. They're both roughly the same size. And then last but not least, I wanted to compare it to one of these other mocks that I made, which is the bat pod in the bat or dark knight now this is somewhat minifigure scale and you can pretty tell that this car is a little oversized um but yeah i think this vehicle is pretty cool in terms of detailing and just how it looks compared to a minifigure i think it's a really nice looking design i'm really proud of it let me know what you think of this mock in the comments. It's sort of like an improved version of my 2021 The Batman, or 2022 The Batman Batmobile from uh, uh, earlier this year. Uh, so let me know which one of these two vehicles you like more in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a great day and goodbye.